So I'm about to attempt to hook the EB55, the Blue Eddy EB55 up to the, the Blue Eddy B230 battery. And I'm going to use the DC input that we use for the solar, but I'm going to use the DC input right here on the EB55. This is where we normally hook the solar up. I'm going to plug that in real quick. Okay, we got that plugged in and we're going to plug it into the DC output. Well, we got to turn it on first. That's on the battery. So the battery is on now. We're going to plug it in. Okay, so this is the cord that comes with the EB55. This cord right here that I used, I just plugged in. So we got it plugged in now. We have 59 watts going out and we have zero watts coming in. So let's let this get past that 100% and see if it'll actually start pulling watts in from that battery. So we'll give it a little bit and we'll see what happens. I may plug a few more things in to run this thing down so we can get under that 100%. We only got 60 watts pulling out right now. I'm running this light in this room and another fan in another room. So I'm gonna plug a couple more things in. All right, so we got 588 watts coming out now. I have a little small heater I just plugged in. So we're gonna let that run for a minute and get this thing off at a 100% to see if that battery will actually start charging it back up. If the uh, B230 will charge it back up. I have the heater plugged in directly into the cord. These lights in this room, I have this all plugged into the transfer switch there. I have a ceiling fan running in this room and one in the other room, along with this little heater. I mean, it wouldn't run long at all like this. I'm surprised it's even running that heater, but it's under the 700 watts that the uh, EB55 is rated for, so it's doing it. So we're just gonna let it uh, put a little drain on the battery. We'll come back in a little bit and see if the B230 starts charging it up. I hope it does. I hope it works, but I don't know. Just a little experiment I wanted to do. And if that works, I have the DC charging enhancer on standby. We're going to plug it into the battery to see if we can charge up the, the battery while we're running it. So uh, we'll come back maybe five minutes and see where we at. It's looking like that was a failed experiment. It's not charging back up. Still pulling the 587 watts out of there. Sure we got all this hooked up correctly. Let's see. Uh, it's not working. Oh, well, this might help. We'll turn it on, huh? All right, so we got it turned on. So maybe it ain't a failed experiment. Let's go see. It's working. All right, we're gonna turn this heater off. Okay. Heater on right now. All right, so it's working good. It wasn't a failed experiment. I am charging up the EB55 with the Blue Eddy B230. I just had to turn it on. That's part of the problem. So my next experiment is going to be: Can I charge up the B230 from the solar using the DC charging enhancer at the same time? that I'm charging this EV55 back up. So, so let's see if that's gonna happen. So this is where the DC charging enhancer will, sorry about that, plug in right here. All right, so that is plugged in, it's a green light. And of course that's not gonna turn, it's not really gonna kick on until this V230 gets below the 100%. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna let this run for a little bit. We see we down to 60%. We have 82 watts coming in from the uh, V230. Ain't the best watch, but it's better than nothing. And uh, we'll charge it back up with the V230 using the cable that came with the EB55. So we'll come back in a little bit and see where we at and see if uh, we start charging this battery back up. 
We still have the 81 watts coming in. I just went and uh, turned the lights off that was in the other room, the lights in the ceiling fan. So now we only have 35 watts going out. We're going to let the, uh, well, now it's pulling in 80, between 80 and 81 watts. We're going to let that battery keep charging this EV55 back up. The solar, uh, the, the B230 hasn't drained down enough for the solar to kick on. But once that happens, we're going to make sure that happens and we can start charging that B230 up with the solar that I have going into the DC charging enhancer. And, uh, We'll come back in a little bit and see. So far, so good. So you see the red light is now on the DC charging enhancer. So it is charging this back up. You can see the little green light flashing down there every now and then. So it is charging back up. While we're charging the EB55 back up, we're able to charge up the B230 back up. So, uh, yeah. So there you have it. You can actually charge the B230 back up while you're charging the EV55 back up. Now this isn't the most ideal situation, but if you had something that was going to, I would say, run under the, well, right now it's taking in 79 watts. If you got something that's running under the 79 watts, maybe 70 watts or less, and you want it to run it for a long time with the EV55, and you have your B230 on hand, you can actually make it work. And then, you know, you're looking at uh, this EV55 is 500 watt hours and the B230 is uh, over 2,000 watt hours. So yeah, you would have uh, over 2,500 watt hours if you combine the two. I would just recommend if you're gonna do that to keep it under the uh, 79 watts because if I had 100 watts coming out, at some point this EV55 would be depleted and I only got 79 watts coming in yeah, it just wouldn't work. So you would have to make sure you stay in, I'd say, 70 or less. I've seen much as 81 watts coming in, but it's down to 79 now. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit longer, and I'm going to call that a pass for this experiment. All right, so we got it back up to 80%. Now we're working on the 100% to get it charged. I'm about to go ahead, and this is going to be the last little bit that I'm doing the video. I'm about to turn off the AC to the EB55. I'm just curious if we're gonna bring any more watts when we do that. So let's turn off that power there and then I'm gonna have to swap. This light's gonna go out once I turn it off, but we'll swap over, All right? Okay, back on regular grid there. So it's still the 75 watts. That didn't make no difference. Now that we're not pulling the watts out. So we're charging back up with 75 watts. But yeah, I would I would not recommend go out and buy EV55 with the, the B230 battery. Yeah, that wouldn't be a wise decision. Right, so anyway, we passed the test. So the EV55 can be charged with the uh, Blue Eddy B230 battery. You can charge it back up. See, and at the same time, you can be bringing in solar with the uh, DC charging enhancer. I had 300 watts of solar coming into the battery, the uh, B230. 300 watts of solar hooked up to it. It's still charging up down there. And as you can see, the, uh, the EB55 is still being charged. We're at 80%, a little bit longer. We should be at 100%. I would not recommend buying an EB55 and a B230. They're not made to go together. It's not a, the perfect combination, but I just want to show if you have an EB55 and one of these batteries, it will charge it back up. And then you could actually run it as long as you stay in, I'd say under the 70 watts. You can see now we got uh, 74 watts coming in. As long as you stay in below the 70 watts output, you should, should be able to run that battery, run with that battery hooked up to your EB55 you should be able to run whatever you have hooked up for a long time. You can set it to 500 and something watt hours that you get from the EB55, you'll be getting over 2,500 watt hours with that battery hooked up. Just a little experiment I want to do, it worked. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As with anything, we're gonna have a, a link down in the comments, whether it's the power station or the battery, we'll have both of those on our website and we'll have a link to our website in the comments. Once again, I'm just gonna say I would not recommend this combination. I just wanted to do that test to see if you could actually charge it back up with it. 
It seemed like it worked with no problems. I'm going to let this top off with that battery and the solar. Appreciate you taking time out with us. Hope you enjoyed the video.